Okay, so <laughs> we're going to try to explain. Oh, well, there's nothing to matter, but we got to explain real quick about the... See the picture up there? Yes, I realize. I'm pretty sure it's off-center. The OCD is driving me nuts, so i got to figure it out. But this is a good, like a first step for me. This is, believe it or not, I know you notice that everything is really dull in my house. I need to get some stuff to put around it and stuff and kind of, you know, but it's, it's a really good first step for me. Um, let me try to make a long story short. I'm from California. I had bought a house and it was built from the ground up. Brand new house. It was beautiful. Beautiful. I own two businesses out there, two video game stores. Um, one in Fresno and one in, one in Clovis. And long story short, one was robbed. The one in Fresno was robbed. Um, I'm very intuitive. I knew what was going on before it happened. So they didn't know I was there. I was hiding and waiting. Um, there were three guys. One of them, well, actually two of them, had guns to my family's head. Um, long story short, again, one didn't make it out of there. I, I was waiting for him. Um, so my city turned on me, said I should have just let them get what, you know, take what they want. Um, I don't agree with that. Okay. Which is, you know, why I was armed to begin with. Um, my police department there was great. Police chief was wonderful. He held a press conference, um, called me a hero, which I had a hard time with, but I was like the first female in the history of the town to ever, you know, basically, you know, stop a robber. I mean, it, it was a robbery spree. I guess I was the fifth stop on their spree. And so I stopped it. Um, but I had people come in constantly taking my pictures and taking video, which is why you don't see me on video with Twinkie. I know everybody says, why aren't you ever on video? I have issues with that part of the PTSD because I didn't know at the point at that point whether there was retaliation waiting for me. Didn't know why people were videotaping me and, and taking my picture um, because I, I had a you know backlash for what I had done. Um, so that's why I'm never on camera with Twinkie. But long story short, I ended up closing that store because I couldn't just, I just couldn't deal with it. So I kept the one store open. And one night, again, being intuitive, I was watching a kid outside, pacing back and forth, acting weird. And then I saw him take a Jason mask out of his backpack. So I left the back of my store, went around because we were in a mall um, and we were on the outdoor section. So I could go up and come up behind him. So I went up behind him. And he hadn't went in yet. And I caught him and he took off. I chased him through the whole parking lot. Finally, the security guard, we, you know, we caught up with the security guard and I told him what was going on. Security guard would not call the police. He said, oh, he's homeless. He, he's harmless. He had a, a weapon on him. He didn't say what it was. I don't know if it was a knife, gun, what. And he didn't call the police. I'd had it. I was done. I wasn't going to make a habit of having to do what I had done the first time. I just couldn't deal with it. So what do I do? Close my stores? No, I got fed up. My dad ended up passing away. He was my best friend. So it sent me over the edge. Couldn't deal with it. So I packed up everything. I found this place, which is like Fort Knox here. And just to be safe, just to have some peace. And I walked away from my house. Brand new house. Walked away from it. Um, it wasn't as bad as it sounds. Because it ended up, they got, the bank ended up getting twice twice or three times what technically I had paid for it. I put a sprinkler system in. I had these Sago palms that my dad had since I was born. They were huge. Um, actually, the house, the house was actually put up for sale not too long ago, and it was four times what I had paid for it. The Sagos, they have pictures of them in the backyard. They've got to be at least 10 grand a piece, you know, themselves. But anyway, so I moved here. So I was so fed up in my PTSD and everything this is going on with me. I haven't done anything to this house. I haven't wanted to. I haven't cared because I felt like I, I, I had everything. I walked away from it. That's my own fault, but I feel like I lost it all because you know, of the robbery and what had happened. So that's why you don't see anything on my walls and stuff. Cause I really could care less, less. As long as I have my animals, I have my peace of mind. I have my peace and quiet. I'm fine. So this is a great first step for me. By, by starting to put stuff up. And of course, it has to be something that's a bird bird related. You know, um, 
That's the good first stuff. I do have the stuff on here above my mantle, but for the most part, I have not cared. It just to me, it's a house, big deal. It's just a house I sleep here. So I, I'm working through my issues, but that's what you see. He knows I'm getting a little, he, he can tell my tone of voice. Um, I'm, get, I'm working through my issues. You know, but see, like my dad passed away, and like I had said, you know, um, his the bed that he passed away in um, is in my spare room, of which where my vanity, which is behind me, and the desk is supposed to go. I have not cleared it out because I have to get rid of the bed. I, I don't, I, I'm not ready yet. So that's why if you want, why has she got a vanity in her house, you know, in her living room? Why does she have the desk like right in the living room? That's why, because I haven't cleared out that, that room. Um, the, one of the rooms is for my husband and he has his studio in there, but that I have to clean out. I'm not ready for that yet. Um, I spent three hours with my dad after he passed away because I had to, had to get him dressed and it's just, you know, the bed's a sentimental thing. So, you know, I know you guys have wondered, you know, I never meant to go on TikTok, <laughs> you know, but now that, you know, Twinkie's on TikTok, I know you guys wonder, I've already told you about the mess down here. That's my work. I saw vinyl, but like, you know, when it comes to like the wires behind the TV, that's stuff that my husband really should do. That's a man thing. He doesn't, you, it drives me nuts. Yes. I, it's getting to the point where finally I'm going to do something about it myself. But for the most part, I've had the kind of, I guess, way of looking at it. Like, I don't care. I don't care. It's just a house, you know? So although it looks messy or it seems messy or it seems boring, you know, and stuff, I'm working on it. I'm actually getting a new new door to put up here instead of having that thing hanging. That's down. That goes down to the garage. That's all that is. But, you know, I'm going to start working on this stuff. So I'm getting better. But anyway, <laughs> that's my first step. I know it's too much information, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like most of you have been with me for a year now. So there you have it. The whole huge train wreck. <laughs>